Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 46. Today we show you how to filter data in a Google spreadsheet without messing it up for everyone else. So you have a Google spreadsheet and it's got a lot of data on it and maybe you just have too much information on here and you'd like to just sort out the parts that are interesting to you. What if you wanted to take this information and you wanted to filter out only the country of Australia or something like that? Normally you'd go up to data and create a filter, but hold on. If you do that, it's gonna mess it up for everybody else who has access to the sheet. Instead, you can create a filtered view. And a filtered view is kind of like a filter, but it's personal and it can be turned on and off. And more importantly, it turns off whenever you leave and it doesn't mess up the original data. So in general, you wanna create a filter when you wanna control the data that everyone else sees on there and you kinda of wanna force everyone to only look at the filtered stuff. You wanna use filtered views whenever you don't wanna mess up the information that everyone else is gonna see. Or if you wanna create multiple views of the same data because you wanna turn on and off certain things at different times. So you go to filter views and choose create a new filter view. You'll see that you get this kind of gray frame around your content that lets you know you're in filtered view mode. Then you wanna give it a name. So the name is just something that you can help find it with. So I might say Australia. If you want to delete this, you can go to the gear and choose delete it. And you can also choose to duplicate it. Perhaps so you've gotten a bunch of different specific filters that you'd like to reuse, but change one thing. You can do that. And um, right, so I go over here and then I start filtering. So I pull this down and I wanna clear all the selections first and then pick the things I want. Hit okay and there you go. From that point you can continue on customizing this filter, let's say by sorting, by category, or by filtering even more. So let's say that you have a different filter you wanna do that's a little bit more complicated. I wanna filter by country, but I also wanna filter by date. I wanna do everything that was in 2013. Well, let's try that. Let's go to filter view, create a new filter view, and I'll call this 2013. Uh, USA and filter by country no problem clear this out go down here to USA select it done 2013 I can come here clear this out and then the problem is I then have to go and click all the 2013s that could take a while so instead you can actually search by 2013 make sure everything's clear first then all you have are the 2013s there and you can choose select all and hit OK and it's only going to select those because you filtered it out by the search method and that's it when someone else comes to this they can go to data filter view and they're going to see these other filter views that you've created. Now if you only have view access to a sheet you can make filtered views but they don't get saved. So that's actually pretty awesome too. You can share data with someone in a read-only format and tell them to go over here and choose data filter views and they can create their own filter view, sort out all the data they want, they won't mess up anything. They don't even have to have editing rights. So I hope you all enjoyed that video. I hope you found it useful and if you did go ahead and uh, click that like button go ahead and hit that subscribe button. In fact, you can see our logo there on the screen for you to click on. Leave a comment or an idea for a Tech Tuesday video below and share this video with your friends. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.